Welcome back to Autumn Wood everybody where the sun is shining and it is the first day of winter so it's one degree at the moment and my plan today is to send Baldrick off to do some drilling and we are going to do some muck spreading with the Puma so yeah we're gonna send Baldrick off with the Optum in a minute and we're going to take the Puma for ourselves and muck spread uh, I haven't decided which field I'm gonna muck spread yet but we're gonna muck spread one of them or two of them depending on whether we have enough muck or not um, so yeah that's uh, that, that's today's plan I, I've got I've got a massive battle plan mapping out in my head ready for how we're going to attack this when we get to the end of, of uh, our second year in seasons which is basically a whole year's worth we've got until autumn but yes I, I've, definitely, I've decided that I definitely want to buy that other farm which is up where we got our maize from so the objective is to make enough money to be able to buy it obviously and what I want to do is I want to keep this farm as the the livestock farm so we'll continue to have our calves uh, and our cows and as we have the sheep pasture then we shall put some sheep in there I think so that is my long-term strategy obviously need to buy some more fields to accommodate our arable side but it does mean that we need to um, kind of work our fields in a more sensible manner so all of the fields around the livestock farms or around the livestock farm, autumn wood, really need to be fields that are going to benefit the farm itself. So ideally we would have the maize down here. We've already got the alfalfa in that field which will continue to grow for us. We just need to it doesn't require as much fertilizing as grass does so there is a possibility that we may may not whoop, may not even bother with no because we still need hay and we need grass for the sheep so we will we will still need a grass field whatever way we do it although I, she, I think the sheep with maize plus actually actually accept different different food types anyway we'll cross that bridge when we come to it so we'll get this we'll get this full um, we need to feed feed the cows and straw them this JCB doesn't have a PTO, that's a shame. Maybe we need to get rid of it and get the Merlot back. <laughs> yes, I love the Merlot. I love the ver Merlot very much, actually. Although this JCB is a fantastic mod. I really, I really am impressed with it. So, JCB, stay there. Um, let's... 
Let's move you to a more sensible position. So we're not blocking. Blocking anything, because I keep getting moaned at that I keep blocking. I didn't actually block that. I left a nice space to get through and everything. It's just my abysmal driving. Grass has got going in this field, hasn't it? Right, let's uh, let's knock this off. Oh yeah. Just sort the cows out and then we know that they're done then. We're gonna have to get ourselves a little tractor for doing the doing the cows, for sure. Because big jalopies like this are not the ideal pieces of equipment for doing it. Something hawky balky is going on. There we go. What was that all about? How much straw have we got? That should be plenty. Let's do the big ones first because we know that the little ones don't. Oh no, let's do the little ones first. We don't even need to blow it, we just back up to it like this. And then it does it all by itself. Ridiculous is that. <laughs> Actually, I could be a bit clever about this. That's not enough, is it? We're going to have to get another bale. Which isn't so bad, I suppose. It's not so bad. Frederick. Open it up. Jump out. JCB. So I hope everybody's had a wonderful week. Um, it has been blooming cold. And I don't like the cold. I am really unfond of cold weather. And uh, I haven't, at work, I haven't been able to get warm at all. It's just been that type of cold, that damp cold, that really gets into your joints and makes you feel really down and miserable. Um, and to top that off, at the beginning of the week, I really, really hurt my shoulder. And I don't know how I did it, but I did. And, uh, why have I put these on? Uh, and it's uh, it's not um, it's not really letting off. It's being quite painful, relentless. Um, so yeah, that's that's my week. I got a lot done though. Even though I am broken, oh, I don't want to. Definitely don't want to. Just the one, please. We'll pop that onto our little tray. I do like this. Trays for the win. Could start leaving these undercover, actually. Not the pallet forks, because they'll just be in the way, won't they? We'll take the JCB background because we're going to need her back on that bucket for the manure. And then we'll 
We've got the optum there ready to be filled up with seed. Put me bucket back on, please. Thank you. Right. Go through here. Um. So yeah, we're gonna have to do some maths, which isn't my strong point. <laughs> But we'll do some maths, we'll work out what bales we're going to need, what bales we're not going to need, and we'll sell, because we've got that silage there, that maize silage there as well. So, um, even if we ran out of something, we've got, we've got stuff that we can feed the cows with. So it's not that big of a, that big of a deal. Now you're thinking, what's he doing? I've got a PTO on the front of this. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be cunning. If it will let me. It will let me do that. It will let me do that. So we won't that and we want that look at that see couldn't do that with the old massey or the best room so that that's two two done I do love it when a plan um, sometimes actually comes together <laughs> Uh, we need to do water. Uh, babies need milk, do they? Babies look like they've got milk. Put that back on. Lift that back up. So, um, what we do want to make sure that we have then when we get a little tractor is that it's got a PTO system on the front so that we can do exactly what we just did because that that is a time saver right take you back round here although we're not going to need you for a minute or two whilst we sort out Baldrick. But if we got you ready, then that's all good. Turn you off. Uh, water for the cows, and then we're done. And we'll just double check that the calves do have milk. I'm pretty sure that they do, though. I don't think. Uh, I don't think we're in a situation. They've got some manure in there as well, but they've got milk. Do they have enough milk now? We've just done that, so that'll be full in a second. They do have milk. Okay, cool. Sweet. Before I get told off for that. And that. I'm on to you lot now, moaning at me. Right, let's sort out this. Is that it? There we go. That was weird, wasn't it? Okay. So we've got fur in here, so we're uh, we're gonna be good. Anyway, we put manure on that field, so that doesn't need manure. I could really do it with the weight on the front of this, so let's. 
let's take this for a jolly. Let's take this for a jolly. And we will um, peruse the inside. It's pretty much the same as the Puma, to be fair, on the inside. It, it is uh, the same cab. Suffering a bit of lag there for some reason. Um, yeah, it's the, it's the same cab, roughly the same layout few little bits and pieces differently um, I'm confused uh, no I'm not confused because I was just thinking then that the Optum doesn't have the panel in the roof but I think it actually does I know that the Puma does but I, I'm pretty sure they're optional I'm pretty sure it's optional but anyway it's no biggie it's actually horrible. <laughs> I drove a T7 with uh, a New Holland T7 with the panel in the roof. Same cab, same track. Well, not the same tractor, but it is the same tractor as a Puma. And I can confirm that those panels in the roof uh, do make it a lot warmer in the cab than you want it to be in the summer. Um, so, yeah. No, don't speed. So we'll just get a wait and then we'll cut to uh, Bol uh, yeah, Baldrick doing the field. We'll leave him at it and we'll go and do some muck spreading and various bits and pieces. So we want a wait and not a long one, just a wait. So don't think I've got many weight mods. But the self-made back one is what we've already got. The ten, the ten finger. Shall we have that one? That one will look nice on the front, won't it? Not much color choices is it I think it just needs to have it in the dark design Ooh. so what does that do that's so it's a thousand kilogram already and that's 400 that's so that would be 1400 then would it doesn't actually give you a configuration let's have the let's have that that should do us that should look good on the front of this and I bought it brand new which is unusual for me I'm usually a skin <laughs> What did I drive into? Something rude and in the way. Shame it wasn't that John Deere. No, who said that? Who said that? That wasn't me, was it? Yeah, that's going to look good on there. Let's have a look. I was right. It does look good on there. That actually really suits this tractor shape and everything okay then to a field we shall go so there we go we got Baldrick in our field with the Optum and the Sulky and we're putting soybeans in this one as well because this is a big one and then We've got him on course play, by the way, just in case you wondered. Uh, yeah, um, and then our other fields, we're going to do the, uh, so the one by the farm, which is over there. 
which we'll visit on our way to doing what we're doing. So we'll grab the Puma. Hopefully Baldrick won't have any issues. I've set him on course play because when I put him on hired help, I had a lot of issues with him the other day. And I don't want any of that rubbish. Nope, I don't want any of that rubbish. So that field there, I am going to put the maze in it. Because we're gonna get we'll get more I think it's a bigger field than that. If not, it's the same sort of size. And then these other ones will be our cereal fields. Because like I said, I want to try and plan whoa 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 I've heard of fish tailing but that was more hmm, that was more something else <laughs> that was more worming <laughs> so yeah I want to make like I said I want to make this the arable part of it obviously those those two fields we've put the soybeans in but that's because they're the big fields they're the biggest ones we've got um, and we don't need a tremendous amount of straw bales so it's sensible to put them in there and then have these ones up here to get our straw bales off of that's what I think that's what that's what's going through in my head anyway um, I have a lot of things going through my head so whether it's all right or not I don't know um, but yeah so we need to open open her up I'm going to uh, just time lapse it Right then, we're going to go fill this back up again. I know there's 16% in here already, but it's not going to be enough for the little field that the maze came out of. So we'll go and fill up with what we have left of manure, and then we'll come back and we will spread that one, and then we'll go check Baldrick, and we'll see just where we're where we're getting to. There's a car coming, so we'll pull out. Yeah. 
This is the only thing, if we get sheep, that will be a bit of an issue for us. Because this is the quickest access from from that farm, from that road. Uh, but if we've got sheep in here, we don't really want to be coming in and out, do we? Could put the sheep in a different field, I suppose. If you noticed, I had to fill up with diesel. When I got down here to fill up with the newer, I glanced at the gauge just as we were going past the entrance to the, to the little workshop there. I was like, oh dear. <laughs> that was nearly empty. We were on fumes. So, JCB to the rescue. Maybe another bucket there. Bucket in a bit, perhaps, if we're lucky. We really need to find a way of securing my joystick. Just go in the trailer, will you? It's because the joystick keeps moving, moving on the on its little plinth. So I'm trying to hold the joystick in place whilst pushing it down at the same time. It's the, at the moment it's becoming a failure for me. A failure. That was it. And that little bit in there, the little moo moos, isn't going to be enough. It isn't going to be worth. Oh. Oh, we could have another half a bucket in there, maybe. If we're lucky. Splendid. So that is all of our manure used. Free fertilizer. I like free fertilizer. So let's get you wonderful tractor up to that old maize field, which isn't going to be maize anymore. And get that covered in slops. Could say that that was a little bit uh, over over excitable with that driving there, but I've been rallying, so why not? We've got to get on anyway. We've got to get on. There's no time to spare. Not in winter. Because as soon as that frosty stuff comes along, it's uh, down the pan for us. So it's now 11 o'clock farmy time. Uh, Baldrick, look, I was watching him when we were doing the manure, and he's looking like he's doing actually a really good job. Famous last word, Seaver. What did you go and say that for? What did you do that for, really? You've gone and jinxed everything now. Anyway. So. I don't quite know what to put into these fields. We'll just pull out of it. We've got the power. No, we haven't. Well, that's really... That's really got... 
rectangle, isn't it? Try again. Nope. Um, I have rude words to say for things like this, but I can't say any of them. <laughs> oh, darn it. My granddad. My gr I can say this because my granddad used to say it and my granddad never swore. He used to, he used to go, oh, bloody. <laughs> it used to make me and my dad chuckle. Every time he did it, he'd hit his thumb and it would, oh, bloody. <laughs> oh, it was fun times. Good old granddad. Love him to bits. Gone now. Anyway, uh, let's, uh, maybe we won't have enough for this. I don't know. Come on, spread. I did push the button. I don't know what's going on now, being a pain in my butt. Yeah, my granddad never swore. I never, ever heard him swear once. Um, and he was, a, he was a grenadier guard back in the day. For the queen. <laughs> I can say the queen because she is actually German, isn't she? After Deutsch. Let's not get into that. Let's move on. So, that farm, I want to buy that farm. And we're going to have a look in a minute to see how much it is. I'm quite confident we are not going to have enough manure for this. So, we will just get as far as we possibly can with it. We'll kind of spread it as thinly as we can. Ooh. Not gonna be enough. Eight percent. Six, five, four, three, two, one, gone. <sighs> Tiny little bit left to do. Not a not a problem there. We'll sort some out. We'll sort some out. So this farm here. We've got this nice shed here which uh you know, actually, you know, to be fair, most of this is down at Autumnwood anyway. A lot of unusable stuff. That is for cows, I believe. And this is Old Oak Farm. We've got some stuff. There's no there's no silos up here though. Oh, is that for sheep? Or is that for moo moos as well? We'll have a look on the map in a minute. Manure and silage. That barn is such a waste. He's it, put that barn down in autumn wood as well, and it's such a wasteful What I might do is I might, I know it's cheating, but at the same time, come on, you give us a gorgeous little farm and a useless shed. It's, I, it's, it's unusual for Oxygen, David. He's usually very unwasteful like that. That is a wasteful shed and it annoys me. Anyway, uh, what I might do is I might just adjust that 
put in a shed that we can actually use because um, we want to store our grains so we need we need a silo as well so I might adjust that but I really want that farm so let's let's jump into you um, let's just check on the map then so plink plonk plink so that is sheep and cows also so we, we could have the sheep up here couldn't we make a few adjustments have the sheep up here what do we get with it land that and that just the pastures no fields how much was it didn't check 166 hmm that's horses next next farm is this one it's quite a distance to be traveling in it especially when we've got kind of buying up this area would be good to go whoop like that I think maybe we got that one there too. I'm trying to remember that what that was like. Well, let's go and have a look. It's not too far out of our way. And we'll have a peruse at that and then we'll stick our head in on Baldrick. whilst we're at it maybe we could just expand down to these fields rather than because we could always put our own pasture in if we wanted to couldn't we see that's uh, that's not overly usable either but it does have um, silos lockdown farm it's quite appropriate though isn't it quite appropriate that's a that's a nice size shed is this a usable shed or is it just decoration no it's usable for what I don't know but it is usable door doesn't seem to work nope does not work but we do have a silo here. Perhaps we could aim to have both of them then. I don't know. Why don't you make the doors open? Use it. Let's use it. That track goes up into there. So, what do you get with this one? just that but that's 51,600 so that's quite cheap you couple them together you've got 200 217 thousand we'll be looking at which isn't such a bad figure but we're not getting any land 75 92 82 we need a cool we need to call half million don't we <laughs> he says he 
says comfortably saying without a quiver in his voice we need to call half a million we got the wood there that we could just steal wood from trying to think ahead for this this whole live streaming hey he's doing really well outstanding won't be long and he will be done that's good good job dude doing a good job okay so pretty much sums up our day doesn't it leave Baldrick to it for now uh I'm going to make some calculated. I think maybe we'll buy this one first then. We've got a silo there that we can use. Big silo in that field too. I said when I say silo I mean silage clamps. Not silo. Although that farm has got silos. I'm just confusing the matter now. We are in the thickness of the wood though, which we could um, get stuck into as well if we wanted to, I guess. It's not really my thing, tree cutting. Not much of a tree cutter. But uh, we'll, we'll have a plan. We'll, we'll get it all sorted. We're going to have plenty of money to play with I think when we come out on the back side of it all not entirely sure actually I am I do know what we're going to do through the winter we're going to be um, selling some of our bales to boost our money situation that's what we'll be doing I'll be working it all out so that we've got enough so we don't oversell but yeah let's put this in there then next to our tipper some of these gates are really wide and some of them are really narrow and when you expect it to be narrow it's wide and when you expect it to be wide it's narrow it's very off-putting <laughs> I just want, I want to get this parked up and then just go and check our moo moos because let's face it they are important and the calves are cute so there's our baby moo moos do we still have six we do still have six that is good news They look happy. Are you happy? We've got a lot of cows now. I like it. We can sell them soon. Make some more money. Expand our business and franchise. Do some maths. Sell some bales. Thanks for watching everybody. Stay safe and may the weather be with you.